Hey guys, it's Emma Vigling with TYT Politics. Oh, the frids. Um, with some breaking news. So, uh, the Washington Post just came out with an explosive piece alleging that Roy Moore, the Republican nominee for Senate in Alabama, initiated a sexual encounter with a 14-year-old girl when he was 32 years old. Wow. If you didn't know, uh, Roy Moore is probably the most despicable person to run for public office in recent memory, even before these allegations came to light. I encourage you to read my good friend Nash Jenkins' piece in Time where he interviewed him. He is an absolute monster. And this just further confirms that. The girl, now a woman, is named Lee Korfman and she spoke with the Washington Post. Uh, the Washington Post piece says, alone with Korfman, uh, Moore chatted with her and asked for her phone number, she says. Days later, she says, he picked her up around the corner from her house in Gadsden, drove her around 30 minutes to his home in the woods, told her how pretty she was, and kissed her. On a second visit, she says, he took off her shirt and pants and removed his clothes. He touched her over her bra and underpants, she says, and guided her hand to touch him over his underwear. I mean... I mean, sorry, it's just really disgusting. Okay. Uh, the Post report also said that three other women it interviewed um, said that Moore persuaded them, or pursued them, excuse me, while he was in his 30s and they were teenagers. But those women say he did not try to initiate any sexual contact with them. The Roy Moore campaign responded, calling it the most outlandish attack on any candidate in the modern political era. These allegations are completely false and are a desperate political attack by the National Democratic Party and the Washington Post on this campaign, Moore said in this statement. Um, by the way, please uh, go check out, Jordan's going to be live uh, on Facebook soon to discuss other things, uh, so check that out, facebook.com slash TYT politics. I wanted to get that in there because uh, there's a lot of stuff in the news today. Um, and. Again, this is a part of a greater trend of women finally feeling a, like they can s stick up for themselves and talk about the abuse that they face. But it's more than that. If this is true, he's a pedophile. He's a pedophile. 14 years old and he's 32? Huh? That is unbelievable to me. Could you imagine? 32 years old, 14, twice her age. Like, at 14, I, I couldn't even imagine ki like kissing a guy. I, I mean, I, I guess I was stunted, but he has so much power over her. And this just further confirms what a despicable person he was. He is. And the Republican Party has united behind him, or had united behind him. Now, as I will get into, they are attempting to distance themselves from him. The National Republican Senatorial Committee Chairman, uh, Cory Gardner, also of Colorado, said, if these allegations are found to be true, Roy Moore must drop out of the Alabama se uh, Special Senate election. Then, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said uh, that Roy Moore should withdraw from the race if a new report that uh, I just read is true. If these allegations are true, he must step aside. Senator Richard Shelby of Alabama on Roy uh, said that uh, on the Roy Moore revelation that if this is true, then he wouldn't belong in the Senate. So uh, the Republican establishment is beginning to speak out against him, but they were t perfectly okay with him saying the following things. He called Native Americans and Asian Americans reds and yellows, respectively. He said that there are active Sharia law cities in the United States, including in Illinois, which has been a pants on fire lie by, proven a pants on fire lie by uh, PolitiFact. He denies that Obama was born in America. He said that it's his personal belief that he wasn't. It's funny. What is your, well, like, when people say it's their personal belief, does it make it any better than just a general belief that's informed by insane propaganda? So, by the way, the Republican Party united around this child molester and this alleged child molester, excuse me, and uh, this man who had racist and horrific views. 
Worst of all, in my opinion, he thinks that Keith Ellison should be prohibited from taking the congressional oath because he is a Muslim. Islamic law is simply incompatible with our law, he wrote. In 1943, we would have never have allowed a member of Congress to take their oath on Mein Kampf or something in the 1950s, someone in the 1950s to swear allegiance to the Communist Manifesto. There's so many problematic things in that statement, but the most jarring one is that you are uh, comparing Hitler to the entire book of, uh, the entire Islamic people, the, the entire billions of people, over a billion people that practice Islam. That's how nuts this guy is. The Quran, thank you, it escaped my mind for like two seconds, apologies. So Trump and the Republicans had embraced more after he won this nomination. Trump initially endorsed Luther Strange, who was his establishment uh, foe. He, he faced off against him in the primary. Luther Strange lost, Roy Moore, this monster won. Uh, it should also be noted that Steve Bannon backed Roy Moore, so Trump and his establishment buddies lost to Steve Bannon. Um, after Strange lost, Trump tweeted this. Spoke to Roy Moore of Alabama last night for the first time. Sounds like a really great guy who ran a fantastic race. He will help to MAGA. Mm. MAGA. Right. So uh, now, Senate, again, as I will repeat, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has called on him, if the allegations are true, to resign. But this gives them an interesting out because how we, we can't really tell if they are true. Like that's what's the problem with a lot of these allegations. And I'm very, uh, I, I, I do believe this woman. I have, she has no reason to come forward other than to speak her truth. And I'm sure it's extremely painful, but it gives the Republicans an out to say, hey, uh, you know, if they may not be true, we don't know if they're true. So maybe we still will support him. What lengths will the Republican Party go to to win? Any, any length. They will just back this horrific, villainous, disgusting man who on top of it now may be a pedophile in order to keep some semblance of power. I don't know. It's a really disturbing story. And uh, I'm glad that Mitch McConnell said that maybe uh, he should drop out of the race, but do you got, do you think this kind of guy, this kind of nut job is really going to drop out? He's not, he might fight till the end. And you know what? That state is so deep red that he might just win. This is, will be a real test for democratic grassroots activism in Alabama. Stay tuned for more on this story. Uh, just wanted to bring you guys the breaking news. Have a good day.